Hey guys, we're out here for a little afternoon bait catching trip. We're gonna see if we can see if we can come up with some bait to load up a, the tank at the house. We're starting to get ready for the fall, where we need some need some big bait on hand on a regular basis. So hang out with us, and hopefully, I can show you some tricks on catching bait. with some warm water here it's not actually too bad for this time of year we're only at 86 degrees as you can see but it's the time of year where that would be I mean the bait should, should be shallow so we're gonna make a little run here see if we can catch some at a bridge it's got a little less water underneath it guys we start i stopped here a little bit short of where i had planned on going because i don't know if you'll be able to see it and they're not doing it real consistent but it's enough i need to check it out over here in this it's real slick calm water over here there's been a few uh, baits flipping i need to fill up the bait tank anyway before i get too too deep over there into the around that bridge where the water is typically a little dirtier so I'm gonna do that, see if this bait's grouped up enough to try to catch or if I think it's big enough to be worth her time. So, I mean, I don't know if you can see those right there, but that's, those are pretty good flips right there. But let's get this, let's start pumping some water in the tank. Also guys, I got mixed emotions about using salt sometimes, but in this hot weather, I don't think you can go wrong with it. I also don't think you can put too much in there, so I'm gonna throw it to them pretty good. Alright guys. Well while we're waiting for this tank to fill up. And I don't know, like I said, I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see this. The tank's flipping pretty good over here. And since we have our basket here to let them Try to clean out in. We do get some. We're gonna ease over here and see what's here. Ain't 
red fin and small gizzards. We're looking for what we call dollar bills at least. If not bigger. So. But that's about what I thought was there. here beside the boat. And I just dumped all the bait. All the ones that didn't get stuck in that basket. And right now they're they're stressed so they're they're pooping and sliming and freaking out. So I'm letting them do that in that basket instead of in the bait tank. Also, it gives me a chance to real quick get them out of the net. Now I have the ability to weed through them. So, let me show you what I'm doing. What I got over here. So, I got this little basket right here. And it's, I mean, it's full. Well, there's an egg white. Full. Of these little thread fins. So right now, I'm trying to get these ones I don't want out, and just see. I know there was a couple big gizzards. I just don't know how many. So let's find out. There's one of what we're looking for right there. That's the case. We're going somewhere else. you can catch undesirables like catfish and stuff like that this could be up next to the pilot so but while we're here before we start running around the lake look at other places we gotta at least check it out
again. A little on the small side. Thank you. All right, guys. So I'm gonna drink me a water. Kind of get us into some deeper water, and then we're gonna make a run and see if we can find something better. Pretty baked that time. Not as many as I thought it was, and most of it was more brown than I than I thought it was. Man, if y'all ever get if you're ever looking for bait this time of year, it's late August. Either start in July, end of August. If you can find some grass like that that's barely in the edge of the water, those big gizzards like to hide in that grass. You throw as close to it as you can. Likely to catch some. 